Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I got a package with some cool stuff and I want to show you what I'm doing. Because, uh, let me quickly show you that. We got an upgrade for a battery of my solar panel. And while I'm showing you that, I also want to make sure that you do see this is my carport. And unfortunately, I don't have any lights in here. So I thought, why not get a bigger battery, hook up my miners to them, and when I do have some spare battery in the night, I can light up my carport. Sounds great, right? So let me show you my current mining setup so that you do know what we're working with. So currently in here, this is a little bit dark. Let's see if you're going to be able to see that. In here, this is my current solar setup. I made videos about this already, like months ago. But now I want to upgrade it. You do see this little battery is currently powering the buck converter, which is stepping down 12 volts to 5 volts for the bit back there. And this MPPT tracker is tracking manually how high the voltage of the battery is, so therefore how good the charge of it is. And as soon as we do have enough battery, it will actually start the output and the miner will start mining. And then I do have this little dongle here, which is an ESP32, which I utilize to track on the MPPT tracker. So now I need to upgrade everything. Let me quickly do that. So the first thing that I actually did, and let me quickly go around here, that you do see what I'm talking about, is I put in this thingy to hold on the battery, because this bar here is thick enough probably or wide enough to hold up the battery but I want to be sure that it's not snaggling around and now it is sitting tight in there so now what I'm gonna need to do is I need to use a cable to run the new battery to my MPPT charger uh, or my MPPT controller and maybe I will move the whole mining section over to the wall as well but I'm not sure about that maybe uh, for now I will just leave it in the box and maybe I can then later on mount the box on the wall, but I don't know. Maybe I will do this another day. I'm just trying to make sure that I now route all the cables that I do need outside to have this tracker, which is also a light. If somebody is moving around in the night, that my carport is lit up. So let's quickly do that. So now let me quickly show you what I did. So battery is hooked up. I know this cabling is kind of a piece of shit. I need to get myself one of these battery thingies and maybe some sort of a shunt um, and a little bit more protection. But so far I hooked up the MPPT. I do have a cable here for the 5 volt with a little bit of Vago clamps. I probably need to do a little bit more on Vago because I need to hook up my LED thingy for the carport as well and I need to put in a light here as well but I need to purchase one first so this one here is hooked up so far I need to make sure to power up this thingy here as well um, to track it inside so that I do have the values but now what I want to do is I want to hook up the bit X first and see if it works let's see it's booting up and we do see the red light, which means it is drawing power, which means this is working. This is looking great. I also hooked it up to the wall, so now it's in a better place instead of laying just here on my tires, because I had it down here on my tires first, and that was not a good idea. So now it's here on the wall, which is better. So let me improve a couple of things, and then we'll sort out the cabling for my LED outside. All right, so now everything is working. You do see here battery. Uh, these thin croco clip thingies are going over to this 12 volt to 5 volt converter to go into the ESP32 that I do have there. And then this one is connected to the MPPT tracker in order to make sure that I can read this out over Wi Fi. So this is working perfectly. I've also um, here cables running, they're going upwards and then back in this shed here and then through the wall out to my solar lamp. Let me quickly show you that. I now do have this solar lamp up there and if I walk somewhere in the range here it should go 
maybe uh, the light index is not correct. Let me see that. I'll show you this later today in the night. Then it should work. All right, here we go. It's dark outside. And there we go. The light is working. Perfect. So I'm now able to see outside with solar. Let me quickly go inside the carport and take a look on how it's looking inside there. Now in here we shouldn't be able to see anything. Reason being is I set the MPPT controller to disable the output to the minus when it drops below 10% battery. So only the light outside will stay online but everything else will go offline. Which is awesome. So it works.